everyone, excuse the ironing board in the background. Will was ironing shirts this morning, um, but it's Monday lunchtime. I've just got home from work. I've changed my hours around, so I ended up with a short day today. And um, my mum and I are gonna go for lunch at a garden center, which I'm really excited about. So she's gonna pick me up shortly. Um, I'm really not feeling well today. I have a headache and I just generally feel a bit crummy. So I'm hoping that a nice lunch out with my mum and looking at some autumnal decorations and hopefully Christmas decorations at the garden centre will make me feel better. Um, but it's a new week. It's the week before uh, we head to New York. This time next week we will nearly be in New York, I think. Um, so that's exciting. But yeah, going out for lunch. Looking forward to it. everyone it's Tuesday oh Archie's going for a poo be right back okay so I was trying to say that it's Tuesday and um, I've been on a school trip all day so I've come straight home and taken the dogs out to stretch their legs but the common is really busy this afternoon this doesn't seem to be a good time to come so I'll definitely bear that in mind next time but yeah so far we've seen lots of people lots of dogs and lots of cows um, and I'm sorry I know it's really bad vlogging on the phone while I walk every time I step it's like stamp 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 but um yeah seen lots of people lots of animals so far but I really want the dogs to stretch their legs so I'm letting Archie have a little bit of a run and um then we'll get back to the house we're about to come across a baby cow I can see it disappearing into the bush which means Archie's probably going to bark. Oh look, there it is. A little mini cow. There are literally so many cows out today. Look, Winnie's just spotted it. What is it, Winnie? Is it a little cow? Hello everyone, it's Wednesday afternoon. Pitch black in here as usual, so I'll come over here. My hair is a mess. <laughs> um, it's Wednesday afternoon, I have got back from town. Um, I nipped into town after work. I say nipped into town, I ended up there for quite a long time. Had a little coffee date with my mum. My second lunch date with my mum of the week. I'm going to New York next week, so I am spending as much time with my mum as possible now. We got some exciting news, which I can't share yet, but I'll share, you, share it with you when I can. Um, and I bought a few bits, so I thought I would show you. The first item is this new rug it's pretty big it was from home sense um i i'm not 100 percent sure how i feel about it but i do like it and the reason i bought it was because it was an absolute bargain so it didn't have any tag on it um it didn't have like a tag that showed the brand or a price or anything so i asked them how much they would sell it for and they said 29.99 and it's actually really thick really good quality and all of the other ones upstairs were like 50 pounds so 30 pound for a, a rug this size is a bargain um, and as you can see our old one has some wet patches on it where Winnie has peed on it and honestly it was matted and gross and really needed replacing so I'm glad that I nabbed this one then I picked up some new boots in the new look kids section I'm holding them the wrong way around they've actually got a detail on the side and um, they're very similar to the ones I already have but mine have all cracked on the top now and they've got holes in the bottom and they're letting in water so I got these from New Look I have tiny feet so I can get them in the kids section so they were 20 pounds but I got student discount and then the last thing I picked up was one of these teddy coats and I know that they are really love it or hate it but I think they are so cozy I don't have any coats that are um that fit me properly right now all my coats are either too big or too small um Archie you're so nosy um and I've wanted one of these for ages so again this was new look it was 25.99 but I got a student discount and yeah it's pretty cozy and now I feel a little bit better about going to New York because I actually have a coat 
to wear and shoes to keep my feet dry. I know this sounds so ungrateful because Will booked the trip as this incredible surprise but I've just been so nervous and anxious about going and I did post about it on Instagram last night and I got sent some fabulous advice from people. So many people responded to my post on my stories. I talked about having travel anxiety. I don't think travel anxiety is actually a thing, it's just anxiety around travel. Um, generally day to day I feel that my anxiety doesn't have much of a hold on me anymore but when I travel it's really bad, um, like in the run up to going away um, and I just wanna cancel the whole thing. What's Archie doing? He's sitting on the rug. Um, I end up just wanting to cancel the whole thing. I get really scared about flying. I've never flown long haul before, so I'm really scared about that. I feel like we're gonna be in an accident or something terrible is gonna happen to the dogs while I'm away or something's gonna happen to us while we're in New York. Like it's, it's so exhausting. And Will has booked this incredible trip for us, this amazing surprise, and I just ruin it by being an anxious mess. And that's honestly how I feel at the moment. I just wanna cancel the whole thing. Um, but part of my anxiety as well was that I didn't have any shoes to wear. I didn't have a coat that fit. Um, I didn't have, you know, anything to wear. And now at least I have a coat and I have some shoes and I'll just have to try and find some clothes to take because nothing fits me, but I don't have enough money to buy, you know, new stuff. So I'm gonna sit and write a list tonight of everything I need to take and hopefully that will make me feel a bit more in control. I do just feel that some days are worse than others. Like today, even though I'm another day closer to the trip, I feel okay about going. But tomorrow I might be a mess again. It's just really frustrating. <laughs> everyone happy friday winnie and i are having a little cuddle she's so cute um i've just filmed a video for patreon so if you are a patron a new video should have gone up on friday so head over and watch that if you haven't it's a process video scrapbooking process video for my travel album and it's a 12 by 12 scrapbook process which i don't do <laughs> ever ever you okay, Winnie? It's officially half term now and holiday mode has been activated for me because I'm off on holiday on Monday. Oh, she's just crept downstairs <laughs> and I'm getting really excited now. The nervousness is sort of going, it'll probably come back on Monday morning, but for now I'm just super excited. Will's just sent me a little itinerary that he's made, which is very cute. Um, and I'm gonna sit and have a look through all of my notes and see if there's anything that I wanna add on to it. Um, because he's just done like all the main touristy stuff. Archie, why are you jumping up? Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, sit and edit my Patreon video now so that I can get that up tonight. And then the only thing I wanted to do in terms of YouTube now is film a video for you guys on my main channel to go up while I'm away, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So we'll see. Hey everyone, it's Saturday. We've now started packing. We've been in town this morning. I'll show you the few little bits that we picked up. But um, yeah, we've now started packing. So I'm trying to like organize my stuff and check my packing list and stuff. I washed a load of clothes yesterday. Um, so I need to try and figure out what I want to take out of that. But I'll show you the bits that we picked up today. So I got some gum for the flight and for stomach aches because I always have stomach aches and I think it's like a placebo effect. But when I have like a mint gum or a mint chew or something it really helps my stomach because I read once that mint helps your stomach so I think now it's like a placebo effect um so if I'm struck by a sudden stomach ache I've got some gum and like I said for the plane as well because my ears pop for the whole time I'm on a plane and we're going to be on there for like eight hours so I'm not going to be wanting to eat sweets the whole eight hours so I've got some gum um but Will picked up some Colin the Caterpillars and Percy Pig goes globe trotting, um, and I got some Haribo Tang plastics and some fizzy fish. But obviously, we'll just share all of these. Um, I got some E forty five cream because I always need moisturizer. Um, a simple water boost hydrating gel cream, plasters, paracetamol, face wash, soothing eye balm and new face powder and a new little highlighter and that's everything we picked up today in town like last minute bits we also got our money changed up into dollars so we've got some cash to take with us 
Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have a go at starting to pack. Hello everyone, excuse my no makeup face. I've just got out of the shower and dried and straightened my hair all ready for tomorrow so that it's a bit more manageable. Um, yesterday I ended up getting a little bit stressed whilst packing so I didn't really film much more. Um, basically the weather while we're away is a bit weird. It's going to be quite warm but um, a couple of the days it's gonna rain quite a lot and I just felt like what do you pack for when it's gonna be warm but rainy? Like you wanna be covered up because it's raining but you don't wanna be sweating because it's gonna be warm and we're gonna be walking around. So I found it quite stressful to pack clothes. Um, so I'm not gonna show you like all the clothes I've packed because you'll see them in the vlogs anyway with what I'm wearing in the vlog. Um, but I thought I'd show you a few bits in my hand luggage. So at the moment it's all just kind of chucked in here because whenever I have thought of something, I've just dumped it in the case. Um, I am taking my suitcase with me. It just about fits the hand luggage uh, recommendations or requirements sorry um, so I'm hoping that it'll be fine but basically I'm thinking about potential stuff that we might bring back so if we buy a few Christmas presents for people or if we buy something breakable I'm not gonna want to put it in the hold luggage because I know that those things get chucked around like nobody's business um, and yeah I just I think I'm gonna want to keep it on me so even though it's a bit of a hassle to have a suitcase with me um, like an extra suitcase especially on the last day because we have to check out um, of the Airbnb by 11 and our flight's not until 10 p.m. Um, I know it's going to be a hassle to have the suitcase but I would prefer to have that in terms of having the extra extra space. Um, so I am taking my journal with me because um, journaling is important to me, it really helps my mental health and I want to be able to document the trip. So I'm taking my B6 Neodori and I recently got a new journal, it's a B6 Stalogy. Um, so I've pre-set up some pages, I'll just show you. So this is the inside of my journal. I've got a Lyra & Co um, wallet in here, fabric wallet. I've got some paper clips. I've got our save the date in there. And then this is my B6 Stalogy. And um, I wanted to set up some pages. So this is today so that I can do some journaling in a bit. Little cleaning sticker down there because that's what I've been doing today. Um, and then I have pre-set up some pages to write a little bit of journaling. Um, and I've got like space in the back of the notebook to write extra stuff in case there's things I can't fit in but I don't want to forget for later when I come to scrapbook. I don't know where these stickers are from, I'm sorry somebody sent them to me. There's Wednesday, Thursday and Friday is when we come home. So I've like pre-set up all of those pages so I can journal on the day or I can journal on the plane home and like um, not have to take any actual journaling supplies with me because people were telling me that like my pens would explode <laughs> on the plane like my brush pens um, I didn't want to have to take a load of washi with me and stuff um, or like scissors and things so I just thought I'll pre-set up some pages and then if I need extra space I'll just go to the back of the notebook but yeah, so that's my journal that I'm taking with me. I've then got a wallet with some important documents in, like proof of my Esther. So if I get to the airport and um, immigration and they say there's any sort of issue with my Esther, I can produce the printed copy of it and say like it was all approved and I've got it here. Um, I've got a spare cardigan. I've got my vlogging camera, which will actually go into my handbag. I just didn't know if I needed my handbag today or not. Um, so it's sitting here waiting for now. I've got two books in there, but I think I'm actually going to swap them out for my Kindle Fire um, and just read the books that are on my Kindle. Um, and then I can use the Wi-Fi on the plane because there is Wi-Fi available to buy on the plane. I don't know if I'm definitely going to do that, but if I do decide to, then I can use my tablet for that. Um, and I can watch stuff in the evenings when we're at home, well, at the Airbnb on their Wi-Fi. So I think I'm gonna swap the books for my Kindle. And it means that my books won't get destroyed either, <laughs> which is always nice. I've got a bunch of sweet, um, this is my little like, electronics pouch, which will be coming with me in my hand luggage. I've got two um, portable chargers. So I've got this one, which does like one charge. And then this one, which does a couple of charges. Um, I've got phone charger, 
the charging cable for both of those, my camera charger, and that's it, I think. I will probably pop another phone charger in there tomorrow morning when we're getting ready to leave. I've also got my headphones, which are going to go in my handbag so that I've got easy access to them when we get on the plane. We're also taking travel adapters, obviously, and an extension lead. The extension lead is there in our hold luggage and um, the adapters are going to be in Will's hand luggage because we don't know we can use um we can charge devices sorry on the plane and we don't know whether they're going to be uk plugs or us plugs so we're going to take the adapters on the plane um this little pouch a couple of people have asked me on instagram where it's from i actually don't know it was a gift from my nan bless her this has just got plasters, paracetamol and my glasses in in case I need those on the plane. Plasters I obviously won't need on the plane, most likely. Touch wood, hope I don't cut myself on anything now. Um, but I just thought I would pop them in there. And then I've got um, a bag that you use for liquids. And not everything in here is a liquid, but I'm just popping it all in one place so that I can just grab it when I need it. Um, so I've got my medication that I take for my Crohn's now because I am on different medication. Chapstick eye cream, uh, hydrating gel for my face and hand sanitizer because going on planes ruins your skin. So I've got moisturizer and eye cream for if I need it plus the chapstick. Um, I take wipes on the plane because I always wipe down the plane seat and the table and everything before I get into my seat. Yes, I'm one of those people. And hand sanitizer for the same reason because planes are dirty and it's already bad enough that you have to share the recycled air with everyone because I always end up getting sick after I've been on a plane but um yeah I try and minimize the risk I've also got my travel pillow over there um but yeah so that's everything that's in my hand luggage so far I think that that is everything that will be in my hand luggage um and then the rest of my stuff so all of my clothes towel most of my toiletries are all in the main case so like I said, I'm not going to show you everything, but I'll just quickly show you. Uh, my makeup is in this little pouch and I've got other toiletries. So deodorant, dry shampoo, my hairbrush and hairbands, um, hair serum and everything is all in that pouch. And then this has got my cleanser, um, E45 cream, uh, my face cloth and my proper moisturiser are all in there um so that's basically everything else in terms of my stuff other than clothes um and i i'm pretty sure i've got everything like i'm i'm pretty sure that that is everything that i want to take and then obviously in my handbag i've got like stuff that i need immediate access so to in my handbag i will have well i've already got my passport my purse that's got my dollars in it and my bank card and my id um I'll probably put one of my portable chargers in there, my headphones, my vlogging camera, and I've got like a little pouch that's got some more painkillers um, and other medications and stuff in. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be okay to travel with those medications. I have done so before, but I've never traveled to the US. Um, if worse comes to worse and they tell me to throw it out, then that's fine, but obviously I can't throw away my um, medication for my Crohn's. So I'm a bit worried about that. I didn't think ahead and get a note from my doctor, but. Hmm. But yeah, so that is pretty much everything now. I'm pretty sure I've got everything. I've done most stuff. The only thing I need to do is like tidy up the house a little bit, um, re like ready for people to be here while we're away. And I want to paint my nails. And that that's basically it. <laughs> everyone. So I know this has been a really short weekly vlog, but I hope that you've enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, I just didn't really have much to film this week. It's just been a week of getting ready to go away, really. Um, it's now quarter to three on Sunday, so it's getting to the point where I need to make sure that the house is nice and tidy for house sitters and like just last minute packing um and sorting things out and i want to get this video uploaded so i will say goodbye to you the next time you see me i will probably be home from new york um so yeah i hope that you've enjoyed the vlog and i will see you next time bye guys